My name is Roger Lindsay. I'm the manager of one of the stormwater engineering departments. With the, there's no amplifier. It's a, so one of the managers of, of one of the stormwater uh, engineering departments. And, and our role in our department is to review plans like pervious pavement, pervious asphalt, the kinds of, of uh, features that we use in new development that allows us to more efficiently handle the stormwater that runs off uh, a project in the event of a rainstorm. Uh, I want to thank today uh, uh, Nancy Whittemore, the, uh, the, the uh, director of the Department of, of uh, General Services. They control everything on this campus and it was their, their evaluation, their, their decisions to install a permeable paver parking lot that allows us to optimize the amount of stormwater that's absorbed in this parking lot. The mayor has joined us here today. The mayor obviously has a significant interest in sustainability and livability and has really set the, 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 the bar for us to follow as, we, as we've built this entire campus, uh, new buildings that are LEED Silver certified, and of course this new permeable paver parking lot is just another feature uh, that allows us the, the, the best of the treatment that we can afford for stormwater treatment. Uh, very quickly, we, we've installed today a Belgard uh, paver system. Uh, underneath these pavers, there's another five inches of small gravel, another 18 inches of larger rock. Um, there's a tremendous holding capacity underneath the surface that you see. The pavers themselves are built, are, are, uh, are produced here in Tennessee, Rockwood, Tennessee, over toward Knoxville. They're built, they're, they're, uh, um, they're fabricated much like concrete is, uh, but they're built under a hydraulic press that gives them a strength of about 10,000 psi. So that's that's significantly stronger material than just normal concrete in a in a normal concrete parking lot. So we gain we gain an enormous amount of strength. This parking lot's good for decades to come, uh, much more so than than the, than the asphalt. The asphalt we took out was a pervious asphalt. It worked well for a good period of time, but it has a, an enormous number of maintenance kinds of issues. It has to be vacuumed on a regular basis. A paver parking lot like this uh, is able to function uh, at, an, at a very efficient rate for, for years to come uh, without worrying so much about what gets into the pores of the asphalt. So, we got a flyover. <laughs> Thank you. Right on time. Right on time. <laughs> So, <laughs> that's right. Well, it took a lot of arrangements for that, but thank you guys. So, with that, I'd like to go ahead. We're going to do the demonstration. Chief, if we can... The key thing here is this is a really successful project and one real good reason why it's successful is it came in under budget and it came in early and what this does is it essentially it's a, it stops the runoff. It's, an, it's a surface that allows the water to go through into the ground um, and it's also used to, to water these trees and it, um, it works. You can see we had a ton of water being uh, dumped right over here, no damage whatsoever and really no runoff at all. Well, normal runoff, where does, I mean, it goes down in the sewer and goes into the river, correct? Well, if water, yes, it would go into the river ultimately, but if water was running off this particular parking lot, it would run down toward um, the school, the old Howard School, the office building here, and then ultimately pick up dirt and other debris as it headed down there. That would go into the sewer and ultimately lead into uh, creeks and streams and, and into the Cumberland River at the end. And so this results in cleaner water in creeks and ultimately in the Cumberland River. And perhaps 
in a, in a heavy rain keep something from some flash flooding, maybe some problems with that? Right. You wouldn't have a situation here where you just dumped these thousands of gallons of water in, where it would run down here and cause um, flooding along the curbside where it would be difficult for people to get in and out of their cars. Um, it, I mean, it really worked. And money-wise, you said it came under budget, which Nancy's going to talk about. That. The, the long, the long term of this, as opposed to the short term of asphalt, right. does that pay for itself over time? It, absolutely. The original asphalt that we had here was put in in 2004, and we were already having maintenance problems, and we were having to vacuum that twice a week. So going to this system, we won't have the maintenance will be lower, and the the life cycle of this uh, this product will be much longer. So in the long run, it'll actually save money. Absolutely, absolutely, it'll save money. Water, sure. And this was one of the recommendations from the Green Ribbon Committee, and one of the things we've been look, working on long term for the city is to have more surfaces like this. So it's a, it's a big first step, and I applaud General Services for their hard work on the project, along with the Water Department. It's a it's a good it's a good project. And so since this was successful, are there plans to kind of do this in other areas? It's just this. Is this just the start of something? Or? Well, I think as we are able to do things and it makes sense, I mean, each location has to be analyzed for its own merits, that this is something we're definitely interested in. Um, I mean, stormwater has been a huge issue in Nashville for many years. We now have a stormwater program where we're working on it in a very methodical way, but we need to continue to improve our, our roadways and sidewalks and parking areas in particular uh, to control stormwater.